body or fairing damage. No leaks underneath. My license plate is current and secure. Tow hooks are securely mounted to the front of the tractor. Visually and physically, check all handrails and steps. They're all securely mounted to the tractor. Open the door. FHWA was renewed October of 2017. We're currently until the last day of October 2018. DVIR says tractor number 271-859. Matches my key, 271-859. Just my tractor number, 271-859. Previous driver wrote the condition of the vehicle is satisfactory. Had he written it up for any safety or not safety related items, I'd, I'd be sure the mechanic performed work on those items that corresponds to what was written up. The driver signed and dated it. I'm going to sign and date it for today and return it to the door. Have a minimum one 5 BC non freezing dry chemical fire extinguisher securely mounted and fully charged. I'm going to enter the tractor using three points of contact. That's two feet and one hand or two hands and one foot securely mounted on the tractor every time I enter or exit today. Moving forward, I'm going to refer to this as three points of contact. Tractor park brake applied, transmission in neutral. I'm going to turn on headlights, marker lights, clearance lights, fog lights, my hookup light. are fully illuminated on the front of the tractor. Three ID lights, two clearance lights, low beams and fog lights are all fully illuminated. Open the door again. Turn my high beams and my four ways in front of this tractor. High beams are fully illuminated, the four ways are flashing and blinking. Back of the tractor, tail lights and four ways are flashing and blinking. Open the door. One more time, I'll put on my left turn signal. Tractor number 271859. I'm going to release the hood latch. The mud flap is securely mounted. Condition and stability of the mirror bracket are good. Flat convex mirrors, no cracks, chips, or discoloration. Company placard, DOT decals in place. Safety Secret says 2018. That means we're current until the last day of January 2019. Battery box is securely mounted. Release moisture from the air tank with two short bursts. Fuel tank. Vented from the rear, securely mounted. There's no leaks underneath the cap. It's leaded, threaded, and sealed. Held in with a metal chain, three quarters full of fuel. Reflective devices on the back of the tractor. Hookup lights should be illuminated, but it is not. Drivetrain. I'm looking and listening at the back of the drivetrain for any leaks. I don't see or hear any. The neck plates are all securely mounted. Remove the air lines from the light cord from the stowaway. No cuts, abrasions, or bulges in the light cord. No cuts in the light in the uh, air lines, no cuts on the light cord, no obstructions in the light cord. Flat hands and grommets are in good repair. Grommets have no cracks or contaminants. We hang all of these on the stowaway. The drive has no, uh, it's fully aligned, there's no debris wrap right around it. Two brake chambers and air lines securely mounted with no leaks. Uh, brake lining right side, minimum quarter inch thickness, no cracks or contaminants. Drive train is fully aligned, there's no debris wrapped around it. Mud flap is securely mounted. Spring, spring hanger, U bolts and bolts, securely mounted with no damage or cracks. Minimal tires, minimal. 230 seconds shred depth, no uneven shred wear. No stones or debris between these tires, the inside and outside of the tires. No cuts, abrasions, bolts, or closed cords or fabrics. The wheel has no rust or cracks, no missing or loose lug nuts. Sealed lubricant system, I can't check the level, but it's not leaking. Middle valves and middle valves and cap on the outside. Middle valves and middle valves and cap on the inside. I check for inflation for the back of my shoe. I turn my toe in, put my hip against the, the, the tire, verify the fifth wheel is in the preloaded position. Two mud flaps with reflective devices securely mounted from the back. The fifth wheel is fully greased. The jaw is in the open position. Add a tongue and be in the raised position. The drive line is fully aligned. There's no debris wrapped around it. Two brake chambers and airlines securely mounted with no leaks. Brake lining left and right side. Minimum quarter inch thickness, no cracks or contaminants. The drag axle securely mounted, no damage or cracks. The lenses are in good repair. The left turn signal is blinking in unison with the left turn signal underneath the door. The pintle hook, safety chain loops, and tow hooks are all securely mounted with no, with no damage. Remove the cotter pin, raise the pinnel latch. It's in good operating condition. Remove and reinsert the cotter pin. Uh, electrical plug, there is no damage. Seven prongs are present. Spring, spring hanger, U bolts and bolt, securely mounted with no damage or cracks. Tires, minimum 230 seconds shred depth, no uneven shred wear. No stones or debris in between the tires. The inside and outside of the tires. No cuts, abrasions, bulges, exposed cords or fabrics. Wheel has no rust or cracks. No missing or loose lug nuts. Sealed lubricant system. I cannot check the level, but it's not leaking. Metal valves and metal valves and cap on the outside. Metal valves and metal valves and cap on the inside. I check for inflation with the back of my shoe. Mud flap is securely mounted. Drive trains fully aligned. 
There's no debris wrapped around it. Uh, two brake chambers and airlines securely mounted with no leaks. Brake lining, left side, minimum quarter inch thickness, no cracks or contaminants. Auto greaser is uh, securely mounted, filled to the proper level, and it's not leaking. Again, visually and physically checking all handrails and steps are securely mounted. Open the door, I have a minimum, I have, excuse me, three reflective bi-directional triangles securely mounted to the inside of the tractor. Rear bracket is securely mounted. Uh, flat and convex mirrors, no cracks, chips, or discoloration. Company flacker DOT decal is in place. Safety sticker says 2018. We're carting until the last day of January 2019. Fuel tank is, is securely mounted, vented from the rear. There are no leaks. The cap is leaded, threaded, and sealed, held in with a metal chain, three quarters full of fuel. Tractor number 271859. Releasing the hood latch. Uh, mud flap is securely mounted. Condition and stability of the mirror, the fender mirror bracket are good. No cracks, chips, or discoloration on the mirror itself. Raise the hood using safe work methods. Verify that the hood is in the locked position. I'm looking and listening for any leaks. I don't see or hear any. The hoses are not leaking. The belt has good tension. Coolant level is uh, between the min and the max. Washer fluid is between the, the, uh, the min and the max. Uh, shock, there, uh, there's no uh, the shock. There's no damage or leaks. Spring, spring hanger, U-bolts and bolt and shackle are securely mounted, no damage or leaks. Brake chamber and airline securely mounted with no leaks, brake lining, minimum quarter inch thickness, no cracks or contaminants. Tire has a minimum 430 seconds tread depth, no one even tread wear. The inside and outside of these tires, no cuts, abrasions, bulges, exposed cords or fabrics. The wheel has no rust or cracks, no missing or loose lug nuts. Lubricant level is between the high and the low, metal mass and metal mass and cap. I do a visual check on inflation. Put my shoe here, go on it, check it. are not leaking the belt has good tension the steering fluid is between the ad and the cold and check the oil supply level verify it's below it's a uh, it's above the operating line on the dipstick or below the oper which it is. If it was below the operating line on the dipstick, I'd add four quarts at a time until it's within the proper level. The steering shaft is no more than a quarter inch of free play. Steering box, pitman arm, and drag length are securely mounted to the driver's side steering tire. Shock securely mounted, no damage or leaks. Spring, spring hanger, U bolt, and bolt and shackle securely mounted with no damage or leaks. With no damage or cracks. Uh, brake chamber and airline securely mounted with no leaks. Brake lining, minimum quarter inch thickness, no cracks or contaminants. Tire has a minimum 430 seconds tread depth, no one even tread wear. The inside and outside of this tire, no cuts, abrasions, bulges, exposed cords or fabrics. Wheel has no rust or cracks, no missing or loose lug nuts. Lubricant level is between the high and the low, metal valves and metal valves and cap. Visual check on inflation, put my shoe here, pull on it, checking for a worn wheel bearing. I'm gonna close the hood now. I need to unlock the hood first. hood is in the unlocked position. I'm going to lower the hood using safe work methods. I'm going to secure the hood on the right side. Talk about it. I'm going to secure the hood on the left side. I'm going to enter my tractor using three points of contact. Park brake applied, transmission in neutral. Check my seatbelt, no cuts or frays. Buckle, fully operational. Release the hand valve. I'm going to insert key, start the end. No, I'm going to insert the key, check my air pressure. Press the clutch and cover the brake. Air pressure is at 90. I'm going to do a, a low air warning test. Uh, as I began fanning, I'm going to push both these these uh, trailer brakes in. As I began fanning, at 60 psi or half the governed air pressure, audible buzzer, visual light on dash warnings will be activated. At 45 to 20 psi, the trailer air supply will pop out first, followed by the check park brake, which I will verify by pulling on the valves. All right, the trailer air supply popped out at 90 because we don't have any back pressure on a trailer. I'm going to continue to fan the brakes. At 50 psi, the audible buzzer, visual light on dash warnings were activated on the gauge. All right, at 30 psi, the tractor park brake engaged, which I'm verifying by pulling on the valve. Tractor park brake applied, transmission in neutral. Uh, depress the clutch, cover the brake. I'm going to restart the engine. Oil pressure is 10, 20, 30.
about 180. Tachometers, responses, speedometers show zero because we are not moving. Voltmeter says 13.9. Fuel gauge is nearly full. Air pressure says 110. I'm going to test my windshield wipers. They have good tension by pulling the water off. Test the uh, AC on all four levels. Defrost on all four levels. Turn off the AC, put on the heat. I said on all four levels, all are operating. I have a 2016 hazmat book, which is the most current book. Check my necessary permits and documents. I have a DOT access log for the DOT official. Take my hours off of this device. Driver's accident reporting card. We're ready to get into the accident. Electronic hazmat e card with the corresponding permit that expires June 30th of 2019. I have a registration on the track from April 2017 to March 31st of 2018, so we are current. Insurance runs until January 1st of 2019, so we are current. If the, if the sticker expires December 31st of 2018, I have one time card and two daily logs. All of my permits are present and compliant. There's no debris underneath my pedals. The clutch, brake, and accelerator pedal are uh, securely mounted to the tractor and operating. Air pressure's at 120. Now I can test my tractor park brake because I have enough air. Tractor park brake holds. Release the tractor park brake. I'm going to roll forward and test my service brake. Service brake holds. You see the dolly staking here. 